Hi Pisces, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you're doing well here as we greet the winter solstice uh, in the Northern Hemisphere. So, um, you know, here comes winter and all the hibernation and kind of uh, maybe time to soul search during the colder weather. So for this week's reading, I'm gonna take a look at the awareness for the week, guidance and possible outcomes. I will also choose a couple of oracle cards um, as well. And again, this is for any um, sun, moon, or rising Pisces sign. So let's see what we have for you. So the Ace of Pentacles, this is a beautiful card. You see the greenery with the abundance. You see the hand holding and offering the coin, the large coin. So sometimes the universe sends us a blessing, a gift, an idea, a seed, a seed that can be planted, a seed that can be nurtured and grown. And so the seed is about you perhaps taking control and owning your path to future prospe prosperity, the possibility of abundance, an abundance in your life from personal happiness, your relationships, your jobs, to your uh, resources as well. And so in life, you know, we see this beautiful opportunity here, and it's a matter of making the most of it. And so what does that mean? That means this pentacle approach is very grounded, common sense, it's well-researched, it's more than likely slow moving, but patient. Understanding that sometimes great rewards take a lot of effort and energy and monitoring in order to see, you know, the pot of gold at the end of the path or uh, the abundant flowers, whatever it may be, to walk down that beautiful, um, you know, path to, to abundance. So for Thursday, it's taking a look and thinking about how you're going to nurture and work your plan, your energies, and your efforts into building a firm foundation, perhaps saving extra money. It could be, you know, you may be thinking of trying to come up with a side job to make a little extra money, maybe during the holidays or after the holidays, saving more money, trying to invest it, but you are actively and proactively trying to move forward. So the Ace of Pentacles is really such a lovely card because it's happiness across all, all areas of your life. Not just, you know, having the, the big, whatever, the big pot of gold, I'll say that again, but it's having happiness and satisfaction and fulfillment in what you do and how you live. So it's such a powerful card of taking the seed and the idea of I'm going to do this. I'm going to um, work on my ability to have a more abundant life, work on my spirituality, work on saving or following a budget. And I'm going to devote my time, my resources, my abilities to doing so. So with this promise or the potential of abundance, here's the Ten of Cups. And the Ten of Cups, I think this is one of the most beautiful Ten of, Cup Ten of Cups illustrations because it really does show the beauty of family and the rainbow in the sky with the cups, the couple in love who care for each other, the children who feel happy and are dancing and feel free. And then we see the beautiful homestead and the abundance there. Uh, it really is um, the epitome of happiness at home and how being happy at home and in your family, however you define your family, is so rewarding and it makes the hard work and the energy and everything else so meaningful and so 
tied together to what, you know, I, I, I work hard because I want to provide for my beautiful children. I want them to have a happy, secure, and confident life. And so this is a card of having many blessings to be appreciative for, which is love of family, love perhaps of someone else, and, um, you know, abundance, abundance of spirit, abundance of community. So here we have these two very powerful cards, and then we have the Four of Cups, which is always an interesting card. We see the young man here underneath the tree, head down, uh, looking, just kind of looking straight down, thinking, sulking, pouting, contemplating. Whatever he may be thinking, where is he? He's under a tree. He's in solitude. He's taken a step back. He may feel... He may feel that something isn't quite right and is questioning it or may feel stuck. So this could suggest that maybe within a part of your life that there's something that you feel that is not allowing yourself to express your highest purpose or you're not feeling um, the excitement or the energy in an area, I, I you know, these are feelings that we all go through. We, we question what's happening. Not every day is a bowl of cherries. Even when we have happy families and we have great jobs, it's like you have those moments where you want to sit under the tree and you want to go, you know, what's going on here? When we are looking down at these cups, when we are head down and thinking about you know, thinking about the things that are not the blessings in our life, we miss the opportunities. And again, the, the glowing cup here, right behind him, because this energy here is so focused on what's not happening. So how do we move on from that? You know, sometimes, again, it's, it's okay to pull yourself out, to have a little solitude, to think about things, maybe to, you know, l let a bad day come out. Let a bad week, perhaps. Maybe this is going to be something for you to move in a particular part of your, of your life. You know, maybe it's about eating habits and you're sitting under the tree and you're thinking, I just can't get myself together. Why am I having such a hard time? I have to do something about that. So, you know, sometimes it's, you know, our life, it, we have complicated lives. We're working hard. We have families. We're generally speaking, very, very happy. But then we have moments where, it's where we question things and we're like, oh, if only I could feel a little bit better in this area of my life. That's typically how I, when I look at this, that's what I see. That there's something that has to be, um, you know, considered, maybe changed. The center of this reading, we have happiness at the Ten of Cups, counting your blessings, having abundance. We have the promise of abundance. And then we have, this represents the times when we feel less than satisfied. You know, it's human nature. So we have to work through that. We have to find a way to, uh, again, turn it around into standing up, getting back in the game, and being proactive with planting seeds and the seeds can be you know in all parts of your life that you're growing and tending to mental state physical emotional professional and in all ways so number wise we have one in ten is eleven eleven and four is fifteen fifteen reduces to six and six six is about stability it's about compassion perhaps social consciousness trying to find peace. And then finally, I'm going to choose an oracle card for an affirmation for the day. An open book. So again, we see the, the beautiful rays of light. We see the path. We see the 
the sprinkles here are the little small stars and allowing yourself to be expressive and receptive, emotions to flow, uh, to count your blessings, to be grateful, all powerful practices as we walk down the path and as we develop our own spiritual growth and as we become better people and as we become better friends and partners and teachers and teachers of our children. I love it. Open book, you know, allow your, your authentic self to ring true. So friends, this is what I have for you for the day. I hope that you found something helpful here with this reading. I thank you for your time. I hope that you have a super day. Subscribe, like this video, share this video, comment below, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.